So this is part two of the Griffin Automatic. Um, so what's changed from last time? Well, the most obvious thing is uh, my blue fingernails. Uh, the second most obvious thing is that I've added the second wheel here. It's got a little uh, handle, just like the other one does. It's pretty much the same setup, but backwards, in reverse. Um, the wires are a little bit uh, different in length. Um, this is the loop. I put a bumper here for his knee to knock against, and I put a bumper here for his thigh to hit. Um, I readjusted where the head and the tail are taped to get the motion um, that you saw in the other video uh, where I showed you this actually working. I've also made this wire longer and I added a bumper here to make uh, this part of his arm. Hold on a sec. I'll show you that. Um, so it kind of hits there. And because this can't flip backwards, it forces this to flip backwards. Now, ideally, I wish his foot would flip back and that would give me this nice little like curve, but I'm not sure I know how to make it do that. So I'm just gonna not worry about that for now. Um, and so here's his back leg. Whoops, I always gotta hold this thing down. Uh -oh. Moving again. So you see his pelvis goes up and down, and then his torso is controlled by this one. So I get some nice uh, offset motion from both. And it looks like he's kicking and, and lunging forward with his uh, front and back legs. So what I'm gonna try to do next is try to get maybe the tail and the head to move. And the final thing I'll do with him is try to get his wings to flap, which as I said before, I think I can do with some kind of um, piece maybe sticking on top of this cam so it'll flap down. I had an idea for his head where I'll uh, make the jaw and the ear one piece and then the top of his face with the eye uh, will float on top of this jaw and probably right behind the eye, the eye will be cut out on the top piece and on the back piece I'll have a um, closed lid and an open eye and so his face should open up and down making his eye kind of blink and it'll also make his ear look like uh, it's wiggling or something. Actually, the top of the head and the bottom of the jaw will both move and that'll give it that motion. It also gives his uh, neck a nice kind of up and down motion that uh, correlates to this. Oops. So you can see it trying to move a little bit. Once this isn't fixed, it should kind of naturally go up and down pretty well. Oh, geez, what else is I going to do? I don't know. I felt like I came up with something kind of clever, and I'm forgetting what it was. Hmm. Oh, I know. I, I think it was something like, uh, if I leave his wing fixed, but have sort of um, a bottom part of his wing, and have it insert into his back, then as his torso goes up and down, his wings will flap, and I won't have to have that weird bumper on the cam. It should just sort of happen, more like um, the way they, they make wings flap in, say, a paper cutout book. Or, sorry, a pop-up book. Um, so I think I can use some of that same methodology here. And, yeah, that's, that's all the changes I've made so far. And I think he, he's working out fairly well. I really do wish this would flip, but again, I'm not sure how I can do that. I love the way, um, oh, sorry, what? I'm trying to it. the hand now leads before the wrist sort of led, and I really like that, but I, I wish this would kind of flip back, and then as this part went forward, it would kind of flip back up. And maybe I can do that with some kind of a, an, maybe another wire attached to this or or maybe some kind of piece attached to this somewhere uh, maybe behind the foot that will control this toe and maybe that'll be enough to flip it but I'm not really sure how to get that done again I'll have to play with it and sort of 
figure out what that can really do. So there's the front. And here is the back. Whoops. It's sort of hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time and hold it down with your leg. If anyone's wondering. I really like the back leg motion. Um, even though the front leg makes me a little sad, I'm so happy with how that looks. Makes me feel pretty good. Okay, uh, see you guys in part three.